In this video, I'm going to show you how to take what you've written out in the Word document or in the Pages document and convert that into the course structure in Udemy. This is a very exciting part because this is where your course starts to come to life. So the first thing to do is click on Login. So when you log into Udemy, you should now see a new menu called Instructor just at the top to the left of the word My Courses. So if you haven't done so already, what you're going to do is you're going to go to Instructor, Instructor Dashboard. What we're really looking for here is this button here, which is called Create a New, and you go Course. So I go into Create a New Course, and it says I need to enter a working title. Now this is not the final title. So I'm going to enter in a title called uh, Mindfulness for the Busy People. Okay, now this is, as I say, this is a working title. This title will change as we go along. It's just to get the course started. Now, here are the tips that Udemy give you. Okay, um, there's three or four tips that they like to give you about getting started, etc., getting help, etc. So the first thing you have to do is create the course goals. And there's a number of questions here that you have to fill in. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fill in the answers and then I'll talk you through it. Okay, so what I've done is I've filled up the course goals. And as you'll see, I've answered the questions that are required. Now, again, this is subject to change. Okay, but you want to be able to identify what the people need coming into the course skills. Who are the ideal people to take the course? So like I have here, people who wish to connect to the now, those who feel they're always living in the past and the future. And um, what will students achieve or be able to do after taking your course? So they'll be able to enjoy the here and now. They'll know how to become more mindful in a moment. These are crucial elements because this is what people are going to see on your course landing page. This takes some work to do, but this is just to start. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on save. And that will save my course goals. But I can update them at any time. Now remember that I said the curriculum starts with an introduction. Section one, introduction. So this introduces you to the course. Now, refer back to your Word document. So what I'm going to have a look at here, and this is where this comes in very, very useful because you have everything laid out. But I'm going to start going into this. So section one, what is mindfulness? So what I do here is I go add a section, and I call this um, 01 mindfulness. And I go add section. Now, then I'm going to add a lecture. And this becomes unpublished because there's no lectures in it. And I call this lecture section introduction. Okay, I'm going to add another lecture, which is going to be called, what is mindfulness? Okay, introduction to mindfulness was the first one. Understanding mindfulness is the second. So let me just, section one introduction. Okay, and I'm going to add a lecture here. This is going to be, Understanding mindfulness. I'm going to add a lecture and I'm going to continue to do this looking at each of my lectures here. So this is lecture three, which becomes lecture four because they they number them from the very beginning here. And then this is summary here. It makes it a lot easier when you have everything laid out because what happens or what can happen is if you don't have a structure you create your course outline you're not quite sure what you're going to put into that outline and it makes everything very very difficult so much much better to have your course outline on paper and then come back here and you can actually put it in here so resources and this of course can change now then what you're going to do is you're going to go back here and you're going to click here and you're going to add a description for each lecture now, where does that description come from? Look, you have it here, okay? So I can go back here and I add that content in. And this just gives a lot of information to the prospective participant of the course about what each lecture is about. So I click on save, understanding mindfulness. I do exactly the same. I add description. As I say, I'm building out the course pretty quickly here. And we haven't even started to record the videos, but I'm going to finish building up this section for you so that you can see exactly what I've done. So the last section we always create is a bonus lecture that we put in 
a wrap up section and next steps. So bonus. Now, why do we do this? Because it, it just, it always looks good to have a little bonus when you come in. So the first lecture title is gonna be called wrap up. And this is where you summarize everything that they've learned. So in this lecture, we discuss the main learning points regarding mindfulness. So then what we ask is help your fellow students. So what I like to do in this section is I like to copy and paste what I had in my previous course, which is this. So you can help your fellow students by leaving a review of this course. In other words, we are leading the people to do something. And that something is to leave a review because if you don't ask for the review, you won't get it. And then the final is join our Facebook group. Why? Because this is where we want to start to push people away from Udemy into Facebook so we can start to market them. So I would normally put in something like join our students only Facebook group save. That's it. You have now got your outline created. So let's have a look at how this looks. First of all, uh, we just click on preview and your course is actually starting to come together. Okay, about this course, 32 lectures, description uh, about your instructor. And then if we go in, we should see the course content here. And look at that. That is your course. This is so exciting. So you have your basic outline. Now, there's lots of little tidy ups that we have to do, which we'll discuss. And in the next video, I'm going to discuss how I actually record my courses and some hints and tips for you. So I look forward to discussing this in the next video with you.